Good morning, folks. Air conf des honneurs. Here comes the sun. This SDO camera usually shows virtually nothing, even for the largest flares. But the double X event from yesterday morning was sensational to watch. We had a perfect side view of the eruptions, an X2.2 followed by an X1.5. Both released coronal mass ejections, and in yesterday's Google Plus Hangouts, we thought that Earth would probably not even see them at our magnetosphere, but we were definitely not in danger. We'll confirm strongly the latter statement via Noah's Endless Spiral. Earth is not in any kind of worry. But this does show that some of the tiniest bits of the outermost cloud could give Earth a little love tap, along with a much smaller filament release that came out ahead of the bigger bursts. Based on the telemetry shown here, even a directly Earth-facing blast of this size, probably not going to be any worries whatsoever. Point of note, and we will come back to the Sun shortly, there was a Sun-diving comet during the X-Class flare events that did their best to erase him from the Lasco feed, but last few hours of his life can be seen on C2. Top storms on the planet. One is Tropical Storm Christina, an Uyen storm set to become a hurricane tonight. Even though it's slated to keep offshore, the effect onshore is real and present. They know darn well what's just out to sea. The other Uyen storm is in the Indian Ocean. Nation of Oman, I beg your attention to this event as it will maintain near cyclone strength as it makes landfall. Please be safe. Best article today is one the electric theorists should spend their day dissecting. Our models say outer rim dwarf clusters should be in disarray in general, but we find most in a plane with a relative directional velocity around the center of the galaxy. Whether it's water droplets 400 miles apart on opposite sides of a low pressure system or stars light years away on opposite arms of the galaxy, the force applied is helical and the scales below also work quite well above. Still waiting on the bigger quake uptick, but the five-pointers are becoming more numerous the last two days, and a couple of six mag readings have been ignored. Think there's not enough going on? Nope. Another coronal hole stream surges the speed over 600 kilometers per second, but with most of the density cleared by the last one, there was not a large density shock out in front, and the geomagnetics are relatively calm, just the sensitive meters trembling a skosh. Oh yeah, and we've got some more solar flares. During the making of this video, a reshoot of the flux was necessary as 2M flares became 2Ms in an X-Class blast. This latest was only an X1, but the radio blackout was just as effective over Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Let's take a look at our sunspots. Starting with the departing groups up north, nice beta polarity but never got anything going. Down south, we actually maintain a delta spot in the top region, positive back there. Complexity is gone below. There's barely visible tiny newborn sunspot group that appears to have been born Beta Delta. Geez, enjoy your youth, little man. Why so serious? Now for the incoming spots, south and north. The X-Flare maker down below, still cresting the limb. The magnetics are mixed and even uglier than the umbras themselves. One must imagine more flares are very possible there. The north is decidedly calmer. If you don't think you know the sun, I bet we can change that. Check out the Sun series, it's linked for you below this video, and for those who don't usually stick around for the departing shots, do it today. Eyes open. No fear at 6.35am Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.